Greetings YouTube and fellow YouTubers and other Earthlings on this planet. Are you wondering if a MacBook Retina from 2013 with only Intel graphics and not uh, any GTX 750 mobile can actually play Blade and Soul? Well, you are in luck. I have installed it on my Retina MacBook Pro in Windows 10 and if I play it on windowed version I get a playable frame rate. holding a bump. <laughs> All right, let's go into settings. So I have chosen this resolution because if I chose anything small, the window will be way too small to see anything I do in the game. And advanced options, everything is actually on low. And I have chosen anti uh, alias aliasing, <laughs> that thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> Okay, if I actually were to play it in full screen, if I actually were to play it on a full screen, then I will get a totally unplayable frame rate. So let's do that just to show. So now the frame rate is down on 10 sometimes. Okay, that's high, 17 frames per second right now compared to normal. Normally it's gonna be on 10 and 11 frames. Really hard to combat and hold my phone to capture this at the same time. Okay. It's probably because. Oh my god. And then click, click, click. <laughs> Okay, so, so 16 frames per second on full screen at this resolution, 1920 times 1200. If I max the resolution, the frame rate will probably drop down to 11 again. That's what I played on to, uh, as default. That, as you can see, is Oh dear, <laughs> so I didn't plan it to <laughs> stop working, but you know, it's Windows, so <laughs> that apparently happens. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. And if you are planning to run a plate and soul on a similar computer, you can actually run it but you will have to play in windowed to get a playable frames per second. But mind that you won't get more than 30 frames per second or so. So thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.